Over the past two years, Canadians have relied on the news more than ever for updates, health guidance, and accurate information. But now, members of the media are being targeted by convoys, experiencing harassment and even death threats while they work hard to keep Canadians informed. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister has been practically silent. Yesterday, CTV Edmonton said that they will no longer display le uh, logos on their vehicles in order to protect their staff. What is the government doing to protect members of the media who are so vital to Canadians and to our democracy? The Honourable Minister for Public Safety. And uh, first of all, I want to echo the concerns that were expressed by my colleague. I think, uh, I hope all members would uh, join in condemning any kind of intimidation, violence, or hate expressed towards the media who play a fundamental role uh, in reporting on current events, Mr. Speaker. And, uh, you know, right now, Mr. Speaker, it is important more than ever to ensure that the Canadian public are informed about the ways in which we are going to get out of this pandemic, which means peacefully, respectfully, and by getting vaccinated, Mr. Speaker. And I just hope that the Conservatives would finally join us in asking the members of the convoy to go home. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, member for Mississauga, Streetsville.